So I've got my fuses in, and I was looking over the underside where the tank goes to see what may have caused the smoke. And the only thing that I noticed was that the clutch cable, the insulation of the clutch cable had been slightly burned from having a little extra play and touching the top of the motor. So what I've done is just zip tied it in place and while making sure that I still have enough um, give to turn the handlebars. So we're going to put everything back together, see if she cranks, and then we're going for a ride. Here we go. Let's find out. Yes! So here's the story. As you can see, Zeta now has the tank removed again and the seat removed again. And so clearly something happened that wasn't supposed to happen or things didn't work out the way that I wanted them to. So if you notice in the last part of the video, this light, when we cranked, um, when we cranked her up, this light stays on solid. And it's actually because the turn signal was left on. But it should be blinking. It's the turn signal. I noticed that and then turned the signal off and then put the signal for the left side. The left side doesn't turn on at all and it caused the headlight to dim. And then about three or four seconds after that, that fuse that we replaced popped and it shut down the bike again. So that let me know that there is in fact a short someplace that's causing that fuse to pop. So I pulled off the seat in the tank again and started doing a little inspecting and it turns out that there was a burnt relay. The relay that was burnt sits right here. It's this relay, as you see, right here is burnt and it smells uh, rather suspect. It smells exactly like what I was, uh, I smelt when we were sitting at the light and um, the bike shut off the first time. So I'm, I can't say that I'm certain, but I'm pretty certain. So now I know what I need. So we're going to go and order this part. This part gets in, we're putting it back on, and then we are going for a ride. So I'll see you guys then. Later.